We've been going over a number of troubleshooting steps that you may be experiencing on the Galaxy Note 9. These are great in case you have noticed that your smartphone is doing something like force closing applications or maybe the performance is just not on par with what it used to be. Perhaps the device is overheating. If for some reason your device is not working the way it used to, then having these troubleshooting steps is very important because they can help you to isolate exactly what the problem is. Now recently I showed you how to boot the Galaxy Note 9 into safe mode. So if booting into safe mode solved the issue that you were experiencing, then it's one of those third-party applications that has that is causing the issue. Um, now you could go through one by one and disable or uninstall those third-party applications. But what I would do is I would actually go and wipe the cache partition. So each of these applications has its own cache data that it builds up. Sometimes this cache data can get corrupt or store the wrong information over time. Now later on I will be showing you how to wipe the cache for each individual application. But for right now I just want to show you how to wipe the entire cache partition which will wipe the cache for every single application you have installed on your device. Now just a warning, a heads up, wiping the cache partition, because I know I'll get that asked this question a lot, wiping the cache partition will not delete any of your data. Your applications, your games, your the progress you have in your games, your photos, videos, all of that will still be there when you wipe the cache data. The cache data is just a partition that stores certain pieces of data so that the application can access it quicker than having to process it again and again and again. So to start, we first need to boot the Galaxy Note 9 into recovery mode. So we're just holding the volume Bixby and volume up Bixby and power button at the same time to boot up into recovery mode. And now that we have booted into the stock Android recovery, we're just going to be pressing the volume down button until we highlight the wipe cache partition option. Just like before, since this is not a touch screen where you have to press the power button to select the option that is highlighted. Next, are you sure that that's what you want to do? Wipe cache. And you're going to press the volume up or down button to highlight the yes option. Press the power button to select that option. And then basically it's going to just instantly take us to back to the main menu. However though, when we look at the bottom of the screen, this is still the recovery mode, after we have wiped the cache partition, it tells us what it's doing. It's wiping the cache, it has formatted the cache partition and the wiping of the cache partition is complete. That's why it just doesn't take very long. It's just one partition. It just deletes the data, formats that partition, and you're done. Again, once that has been completed, 
you're going to be taken back to the stock Android recovery screen. The reboot system now option should be highlighted by default. So we're just going to press the power button to select that option. Now if that is not the case, then you can use the volume up or volume down buttons to highlight the reboot system now option. And then just press the power button to select it. And you can see that was a quick boot back up into Android. And there you have it. You have now just wiped the cache partition of the Galaxy Note 9. So any application data that has been created and stored on the cache partition has now been wiped out and deleted. Now some of your applications, whenever you open them up again, it may be a little bit slower than normal and that's due to the application having to rebuild that cache data but it's not something that should take you know minutes at a time it should just be another second or two that you notice 